Now we're going to have a couple different sets of units of concentration and uh, we're going to define concentration as a quantitative measure. Quantitative means with numbers. Whereas qualitative means without numbers generally or without specific detailed numbers. So quantitative measure of the amount of solute in a given amount of solvent. And we have a set of units for this. The units are called molarity. Those are the same chemistry units that you're going to be talking about quite a bit now and in future chemistry courses. And the uh, abbreviation for molarity is capital M. And uh, it stands for moles of solute per one liter of solution. And as we'll see, I will usually do something like this, blank M, which is for molarity. And, uh, in this case, we'll be talking about sodium chloride. So I'll do blank molarity sodium chloride because the molarity tells you what units it is for the concentration and the sodium chloride tells you what your solute is. And whenever you have a solute dissolved in a solution, you'll need both of those parts. Uh, and then it'll be blank moles of NaCl over blank liters of solution. And uh, oftentimes problems, as we'll see, will uh, give you two of these three numbers. These blanks are for numbers, and uh, you'll have to find the third. Now, uh, before we do some problems, though, I want to talk about how to make a solution. And uh, hopefully you can see this. So we've got a volumetric flask here and a volumetric flask is the best way to make a quantitative concentration of solution and here we've got uh, way out and add 1.00 moles of sodium chloride we can calculate that as 58.44 grams of sodium chloride and we're adding that here into the volumetric flask and then it's a little hard to see but you're adding the water uh, up to about here and you're dissolving so you're going to shake it around um, to or swirl it usually actually swirl it to dissolve all the sodium chloride and the reason we do this so we fill it up only partially is because sometimes when the solid or whatever it is that we're dissolving dissolves it changes the volume. So a good practice is to always dissolve it uh, before filling to the total volume. And uh, what I mean by the total volume is inside this, you're going to add water until solid is dissolved, then add additional water until the one liter mark is reached. And so the one liter mark on this volumetric flask is always on what's called the neck of the flask. And the neck of the flask is this portion here. And the line is right here. So initially you fill it to here, then dissolve, then you're gonna fill it up to exactly the line. And that is hard to see, but the solution is filled up to exactly this line. It's then mixed again to make sure that all of this is uniform and homogeneous. Um, and you get, let's see, so you have 58.44 grams, which will convert into moles. We have 1.00 moles of sodium chloride. And we're going to put it in exactly 1.00 liters. And 1 divided by 1 creates a 1.00 molarity and a solution of sodium chloride. And sometimes we, uh, our cute nickname for molarity is molar. And so one way of pronouncing this is, well, we can just say 1.00 molarity sodium chloride and go ahead and write that down here. And then you can also say 1.00 molar sodium chloride and write that down here as well. Those are the pronunciations of this set of units.